My name is Jen Dorsey. I'm a fourth grade teacher at Mechanicsville Elementary School. Today I'm going to be talking to you about how we can use complementary and supplementary angles to help us find the measure of an unknown angle. It sounds like a lot, but I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised at how simple this really is. When we have two adjacent angles, or angles that are next to each other, and they form a 90 degree angle, like this, which is also called a right angle, we say that those angles are complementary. If I divide this right angle with a ray, I can show that these two angles here and here equal 90 degrees. If I know that this angle measures 50 degrees and I'm not sure about the measure of angle D, I can use my knowledge of subtraction to help me find this unknown measure. By subtracting 90 degrees, the total measure of both of these angles minus 50 degrees. And I can find that angle D measures 40 degrees. If I take a look at this straight angle here, I can see that I have these two rays that are forming a straight line. We call this a straight angle because it looks just like a straight line. Straight angles always have a measure of 180 degrees. If I divide this straight angle with a ray, I can see that I have two angles here and here that both measure 180 degrees. These two angles are called supplementary angles. If I know that this angle measures 45 degrees and I don't know the measure of angle F, I can use my knowledge of subtraction to help me find this unknown measure because I know supplementary angles always equal 180 degrees. 180 degrees minus the 45 degrees of this angle means angle F must be equal to 135 degrees. Now let's really blow your minds. Our fourth graders are using their knowledge of complementary and supplementary angles to help them find unknown angle measures in more complex geometric figures like this. When I look at this figure, I can see that I have two rays here. These are constructing a 90 degree angle. Right here. And I can see that I have two angles that are working together to create this 90 degree angle. I know that this angle measures 50 degrees, but I don't know the measure of angle A. I can use my knowledge of complementary angles and say that 90 degrees minus this 50 degrees means angle A has to be equal to 40 degrees. If I look up here, I can see that angle B and this 130 degree angle are two angles combined that are making a straight angle. I know that straight angles always measure 180 degrees. And that makes angle B and this 130 degree angle supplementary angles. To find the unknown measure of angle B, I can subtract 180 degrees minus 130 degrees to find that angle B is going to measure 50 degrees. This is how our fourth graders can use their knowledge of complementary and supplementary angles to find unknown angle measures.